We're going to look at the nucleophilic addition mechanism for the reaction of a carbonyl with a cyanide ion. The carbonyl, C double bond O, is polar because the oxygen is more electronegative than the carbon. This results in a delta negative oxygen and a delta positive carbon. Because we have an electron deficient delta positive carbon, that will be very attractive to attack by nucleophiles such as cyanide ions. Now, the cyanide ion has got a lone pair of electrons, and this lone pair will attack the electron deficient delta positive carbon. At the same time, the pi electrons will move onto the oxygen atom. What this makes is an anion. Now, the anion has got an oxygen, which has a negative charge and a lone pair. The cyanide has now attached, and we've still got the hydrogen and the methyl group. Another hydrogen cyanide molecule comes in, and as a result, the anion then donates the lone pair on the oxygen, and it accepts the proton from the hydrogen cyanide molecule, and as a result, this bond breaks. The cyanide ion is then released, hence being regenerated. Because it's regenerated, the cyanide ion is acting as a catalyst in this mechanism. So our product that is formed is chiral. It's got an OH group that has just been formed. We've got the cyanide that's attached. We also have our hydrogen from drawing this 3D. And we've got our methyl group. Now this product is chiral because it's got an asymmetric carbon. There is one, two, three, four different groups surrounding that carbon. Another important thing to note is that we get a racemic mixture. Now why we get a racemic mixture is because of the carbonyl being planar. Because it's planar, the cyanide ion can attack from above or below and has an equal chance of doing so. This results in a 50-50 mixture of our enantiomers, and so we get a racemic mixture. The other important thing to note about this reaction is that we add acidified potassium cyanide instead of hydrogen cyanide gas, because hydrogen cyanide is a toxic gas. The acidified potassium cyanide generates hydrogen cyanide inside the reaction vessel. And then the potassium cyanide needs to be in excess to ensure that there are free cyanide ions to start the reaction. And then because the HCN is generated in situ inside the reaction vessel, it is available to then do this intermediate step of this mechanism.